Taliban forces in Afghanistan have asked the international community not to recognize the new government. The Taliban insist they have now defeated the NRF in the Panjshir Valley north of Kabul. But NRF leaders say they are still fighting. Taliban have agreed to allow 200 foreigners stranded in the country to leave via charter flights from Kabul airport. It is the first evacuation since U.S. withdrawal. They were pressed to allow the departures by U.S. Special Representative Zalmay Khalil Saad. Afghanistan's neighboring countries including Pakistan, China, Iran, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan exchange views on the evolving situation in Afghanistan for a regional approach. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Qureshi underlined that a shared approach would help Afghanistan on its path to peace and stability and would result in enhanced economic integration. Germany, China and Japan have offered a lukewarm reception to the Taliban's provincial government in Afghanistan. The Taliban has announced an all-male intern government for Afghanistan counter to advice from world powers for an exclusive government. The Taliban has called a traditional jirga of tribal and community elders on the economic and security situation in Afghanistan. Over 100 members of a jirga gather at the Foreign Office building in Kabul to talk with the Taliban. China has announced $31 million aid for Taliban government. China's foreign minister said the United States and its allies have more of a duty to supply economic and humanitarian aid to Afghanistan than any other country. The government of Pakistan has decided to dispatch humanitarian assistance comprising food and medicine to the people of Afghanistan. Three C-130s are being dispatched to Afghanistan and further supplies would continue through land route. Over 200 Afghans, including women and children, cross into Pakistan for different points and reach China. However, Pakistan has deported Afghans belongs to Kunduz province back to their country. Former President of Afghanistan Ashraf Ghani apologized to the Afghan people because he could not make it end differently. Ghani said he left at the urging of the police security in order to avoid the risk of bloody street fighting. Dozens of women in Kabul and Badakhshan have protested against the formation of an all-male intern Taliban government to rule Afghanistan. Demonstrators said they would not accept a government with no women. Minister situation in Afghanistan for a regional approach. Some women were reportedly beaten before the protests were dispersed. Some Afghan soldiers previously trained by the US and the UK are now fighting for the Taliban. The United Kingdom Army has disappeared that some of the techniques the Taliban are using are mostly used in the UK or the US.